Alright everybody, welcome back to the next system test with the Kitty FX-64 Fire Alarm Control Panel. In this test, I am joined by a guest. Hey guy, Zachary Fleck here. Yep, he's going to be joining us in this test. Uh, today we have the Simplex True Alert, and this is a special model where it's not addressable and not smart sync. So this allows me to hook it or wire it up to panels such as these that aren't made by Simplex. We've also going down have kind of a Simplex theme. We have a Simplex 2099-9754 uh, conventional T-bar. And we have nothing in this spot because I just kind of wanted to keep everything Simplex. So, yeah, uh, this is set on code 3 and I believe the strobe is on 75 Candela. And uh, we're going to be asking Zach here what should we what we should test first. I think since it's a simplex beam system, it makes sense to start with the T-bar. Definitely. That's, that's, that's a great idea. Alright, we're just going to pull this and watch the alarms go off. In 3, 2, 1. Alright, the panel is now silenced, and as we can see, we do have audible silence, which is nice. I have two NACs running into this true alert. One of them is powering the strobe, and one, the other is powering the horn. Very cool. Yep. That, that was surprisingly not as loud as I was expecting, so uh, awesome. It's louder in real life. <laughs> I'm sure. And then also, some of you might have noticed that the true alert sounds a little bit scratchy. And that's just because it's being powered by FWR power and not filtered DC. So. Yeah, I also heard some. Was that some voltage drop at the end of it that it was doing like a little whining, whining out? Yeah, that was the FWR. Got it. Um, yeah, in between you can just kind of hear it scratching a little bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reset that, and then reset the panel. And then what we're gonna do once the panel is reset is we are going to change the coding on this to 120 beats march time. So we're going to go into program, scroll down to advanced program. Uh, I think it needs a level 2 passcode, which is just 2222. And of course you can change that. Panel configuration. Yep. And then panel NAC. Uh, we're going to select NAC1. And then here's where we change it. Coder 120. So I believe that's 120 march time. And yep, and hit save. And then we can go ahead and exit and test the smoke detector and see, see what that does. So I'll tell you what, I got some options to test the smoke detector. I got the Solo A4, got the little yellow can of smoke, and then we've got the uh, smoke saber. So, what do you think well, I should use? Based on your video going over all of those devices, I loved watching you fling it out the saber. <laughs> yeah, everyone likes so, that. I, I think we need to see that one more time. Definitely. Okay, you ready? Here we go. All right. It's so cool. <laughs> all right, we'll go ahead and just kind of spray this at the smoke detector. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Pretty loud. Oh no! It's not silencing. Come on, reset. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that it wasn't resetting because there was still smoke, so I had to take the head down and blow it out. 
And I did not realize that was on 120 beats non-silenceable. So that's why the alarm didn't silence when I pushed the silence button. <laughs> Lesson learned. Well, thank you for joining me in this test. And uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. And then also go check out Zachary Flex YouTube channel. I'll leave his link in the description. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, everyone.